first things first when preparing to put on your band-aid, you wanna make sure you have the appropriate amount of tape ready to go. You can tape that to the side of the table so that's ready for you when you need it. Okay, you wanna start out with your primary layer. For this bandage, I'll be doing a bandage on the end of the paw here. We'll do this one. So you want to cover the end of the paw and you can do the little Christmas wrapping technique so there's no creases because any creases in the bandage will make the pet uncomfortable and make them want to mess with it. You'll then want to cover the primary layer with the cling wrap or the secondary layer. Make sure you're always layering half over the last layer so you never put too much pressure And then on the top, go cover it flat like that, and then go back up. And you want to make sure you don't make it too tight because this will be a more of a permanent bandage. This is too long. So you don't want them to lose any circulation for too long. You can then use the third and final layer, the vet wrap to hold everything together. Now this leg is really tiny, but you want to make sure that you leave some of the bandage up top showing through. And again, make sure you're wrapping halfway. leaving no wrinkles. Another thing you can do is warm up your hands and hold it to keep it sticking together. And then grab your tape. You want to make sure this is taped up onto the fur of the animal to prevent any slipping. Okay, that's how you.